hello hello everybody and look what we got here overnighted almost 70 bucks a ship wow anyway I've been talking about getting some new plecos and they're here luckily well <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna be home when they got here thought my wife was gonna have to do this but I've had work truck problems so I'm here still at home and they made it so I'm gonna get to opening this and see what's inside okay now that we're here I guess I should go ahead and say this is oh we got another insulated cooler thing in here let's get that out so I open it up and this is what we see here as you can tell select aquatics Greg Sage thank you so much for your order with select aquatics as fellow hobbyists we understand you may have questions or concerns so please do not hesitate to contact us we'll be right back with you get right back with you Keep an eye on our expanding species and product list. We look forward to working with you again in the future. Keep in touch. Greg Sage. So, I was super lucky enough to get my hands. These are, oh wow, good size too. I didn't expect them to be this big. These are long, thin green dragon bristle nose plecos long thin green dragon that is pretty sweet i never i've heard about these guys before they're like the hardest ones to get making sure everyone's still alive that looks good i gotta say i've heard that select aquatics grade sage does excellent job packing and I can't say I disagree this is the best most professional boxed shipment of critters I've ever had this is all very nice bags feel pretty cold it got down in the upper 40s last night but so what I'm going to do before I start putting these guys in their tanks and these are not breather bags I'm going to float them for a while to let them temperature adjust so this is pretty exciting stuff funny story is the only reason I was able to get these. These are so hard to get. Is that a fellow YouTuber and friend of mine, Valley Fish, told me. He sent me a link to the video that Greg Sage was selling like 70 or 80 of these that he'd been working on. And I was sitting at my kids' baseball practice, believe it or not. Get my, check my phone just cruising around on my phone and I get to and I look I was like oh my gosh and usually that wouldn't even been enough because usually these are pretty freaking expensive and normally I don't have enough money to just drop that much money on a fish on a whim but I just sold like 700 shrimp a few the weekend before so <laughs> here we go we got a whole bunch of plecos i'll get them drip acc or drip acclimating i'll get them temperature acclimating and then we'll put them in their tank okay so while they're acclimating here i'll talk about the tank that they are going in 
They are gonna go in my 40 gallon breeder. One of my, one, one of eight 40 gallon breeders. And they're gonna go live with the Bloody Mary shrimp. Let's see who they're gonna live with. And so I've got this tank. No, this is this has just been a a tank that was room temperature and it get cold in the winter, but it's just shrimp, so it never really mattered. But now I have heater and heat controller keeping it at 75 just because I knew these guys were coming <laughs> so I got that all set up and now the Bloody Marys will have some friends still got to get some caves for them probably just buy the terracotta plant watering things but this is where they're going to live at All right, let's see if we can't get this unboxing or unbagging started. Okay, so now I am just going to do plop and drop. These have been acclimating for about 20 minutes or so. Even though these are fancy, expensive plecos, they are still just bristle nose plecos and I have a whole collection of them plopping and dropping is just fine in my experience if you are super worried about it oh. here you go I don't know if you can see that he got stuck he dropped out of the water okay you still got this is how I, when I get new fish plop and drop Five gallon bucket. Great big net. Cut the bag open. Dump the plucko in there. And he wants to stay in the bag. And he's out of the bag. And here you go into your new home, buddy. Oh wow, pretty. When I get done doing this, I'll show you. In fact, I'll stop this video here because I'm not gonna make you watch me unbagging five of these, but just to show you how I do it. But wow, he looks really good. I'll show you when I get them all in there. Okay, so here we are. Look at this guy. They are so much bigger than I thought. Looks like this one is going to be a boy. That one's already sexed out. Or starting to. Like I was saying, these guys are a lot bigger than I ever thought they would be. They're super, super cool super cool Let's see there's one back there five total Let's see if we can find another one oh, where'd you go there he is he's hiding in the moss did see one up there's one right there excuse the dirty glass super cool super awesome I think my cool bristlenose plucko collection is complete now that gives me super reds long fin super reds lemon blue eyes long fin lemon blue eyes calico super red long fins of course hundreds and hundreds of albinos and browns 
right there. That is a cool little fish and I'm more than happy with the size. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Selling those unsexed juveniles and they're just on the cusp of sexing out. Just on the cusp. These guys are these guys will be spawning in a matter of a handful of months. So that makes me pretty happy. Awesome stuff. Awesome quality packing. Oh, that guy's swimming out of the moss. Look at this one. He's really cool. He's big. Oh, hey, I'm trying to check you out, man. What you doing? <laughs> but anyway, there's five of them in here. I still, as you can see, I still ain't even cleaned up my mess. So they literally just got put in. Super awesome. I'm so happy. Thank you, Greg at Select Aquatics. Awesome stuff. Thank you to the Valley Fish for telling me about it. Like I sent him an email like eight minutes after he released the video about these guys being available for sale. And thanks to my shrimp buyers and everyone here who buys shrimp and guppies and pluck those off me. Y'all helped make it possible. Because I'm a poor guy and I can't afford to spend my paycheck money on these kind of things so I sell to keep up with it and to buy new things and so this is pretty awesome I'm really happy with it and thank you everyone again for watching bye